Hey guys, um, I'm back with one more commentary for the night, and this time it's a match in Forley, which I really hate this map. Um, same lobby as before in the previous video. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can talk about some strategies instead of just commentating my way through this um, game. But Generally, um, your compass is um, able to point out the direction of your targets, right? So, when it goes full circle, it means your target is near. If it starts um, glowing blue and it makes a ping noise, it means your target is in sight and can see, see you as well. However, sometimes like if they change the uh, camera angle around, they can see you around the corner, so it's not 100% reliable. Uh, over here, I get chased. Um, I knew the prowler was after me because he looked super suspicious and I was hearing whispers. But he manages to get me. I don't know how. Uh, sh should have ran up a chase breaker. But yeah. Uh, I usually try to play stealthy. I, I like standing in blend groups and waiting for my targets to come by, especially if I get into the lead. Um, at that point, everyone just comes to you. But I'm not in the lead, but I do have two pursuers. So I go after my um, targets and basically just keep on the move, keep on the lookout, because I don't have any defensive abilities right now. Uh, over here, the Harlequin is clearly after me, but I didn't notice until the last moment, and even then I couldn't do anything about it. The only reason I got that stun off was because he poisoned me, which... 200 for um, the stun, but he probably got 600 or more for that kill right there. Ugh, poison happy people kind of piss me off. Sort of. <coughs> um, I get the mercenary. Uh, he he dies. So I get pretty annoyed about that. And I couldn't ha have done anything about that courtesan either, except probably ran away when I heard the whispers get louder. But that's why I get for not trusting my instincts. Um. You mainly want to focus, um, well, you can do, um, you can play the game either way. You can either be offensive or defensive, but what you generally want to do is to make sure you get into the lead or at least some point where you have more than one pursuer, because what you can do is you can control the game, and that person j just shows up in random matches, like, every time. I always see that person, so, yeah, uh, I think I was screaming, why is it always you, into the mic when I stunned the Dama. But like I said, um, if you're in the lane and you have multiple pursuers, you can direct the flow of um, the game, because everyone has to come to you at some point, and they'll probably bring your targets to you as well. And that mercenary was pretty obvious. Um, I think my smoke bomb was larger than normal. I don't know why. I don't think I have strong smoke bomb equipped on this set, but it, yeah, the range was a bit larger, so he got caught at like the very edges of it. <coughs> um, I'm at the, the prowler and I see him over there, and I hear whispers as well. So I decide to stick to the roof and roof him. Oh God! Like sometimes remember to lock. Um, the locking system isn't great, it's actually quite terrible, so you have to get used to it, but um, locking helps you keep track of your target in case they run, but only for a certain amount of time. Once they break line of sight for a while, the lock goes off. But locking on also helps you um, kill them and not an NPC in case they run into a crowd, so you really want to keep that lock on. Uh, over there I was just blind. I I don't know why I didn't pay attention to the compass at that point, but it doesn't matter. Well, actually, yes, it does matter, because he took the lead. But, um, as you can see, I battled it out with the Harlequin pretty much this whole entire match. Because, 
Um, poison tends to rack up more kills, even though it's a little bit harder to use since you do have to get um, really close to your contract, um, your target, to poison them. And most of the times, I usually get stunned before I could even poison, so I usually just rely on um, my defensive set, which I finally switched back to at some point during this match after I was sick of dying. Okay, so right here I hear whispers, and I knew it was that Cortezon. She's playing off like an NPC, but I don't trust her, so I stun her. And I, I didn't even notice the Harlequin stand over her and poison her, so I derped right there. Um, but she dies, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, this is one of the good blend groups in Forley. Because you can see your pursuers coming from nearly all directions if you keep on the lookout. Um, yeah. So I stay here. Um, over here I make a big mistake. Um, don't try to lock on at this point. Because um, as you can see, I was trying to lock on but the thief got in the way and I would have gotten the kill if I reacted s quicker. But I didn't. So that was a huge mistake on my part. Uh, I, I felt terrible after that, and the fact that I'm battling it out with the Harlequin doesn't make it any better. Um, I see him come, so I think he suspects it's me, so he veers away from the blend group, so I dash out to kill him and get my kill streak. And I was so going to die, but Amori saves my life right then and there from Katsu. Um, so yeah, I get the Harlequin again, and my pursuer dies, and what'd you know, he's walking in my direction. Um, yeah, if you see a blend group and you hear whispers get louder the closer you get to it, just assume your pursuer is waiting in the blend group. Um, As you can see, I freak out because I hear whispers coming from all directions, waste both of my abilities <coughs> on NPCs because they all look suspicious. So I bail out of there. Um, the mercenary is right over there, and I think I, yeah, I managed to get a naked stun because they didn't have a lock on or I reacted quicker. And I killed a mercenary right after. Uh. Fuck. I don't remember what goes on here. Um. Yeah, as you can see, uh, I don't have much of a lead. You generally. Generally, you're not safe unless you manage to get, like, um. At least a 2k lead. Because most players have, um. The times 2 loss streak. And. Combined with Poison and Hidden and Incognito, they can rack up some pretty big scores. Um, if you check out Atslan's channel, he has a video where he managed to get a 5,800 point kill in one go. But that was for some help. And over there, I was spamming Mute and didn't realize it was on cooldown, so I died a stupid death. Um, yeah. But... Generally, just assume your lead is not safe, ever. You always want to be on the lookout for your pursuers. You always want to go after your targets, if you can. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much rage mode activated over here, because I'm roofing everything, and the Dama gets me again. Over here, it's kind of, um, I stick to the roof, the roofs, because they're easier to, um, navigate, I guess. This is a ro very roofy map. Most of the time, you get, um, full lobbies where they're always on the roof, and it's annoying, but I think I was the one of the only people roofing this time. So, I killed a Harlequin. So he can back the hell off my lead. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I just secured the lead, like, by sheer dumb luck. Uh, he couldn't have gotten it back unless he had greater variety or variety on this last kill he gets right over there on my pursuer. But yeah, I finished first, and I was pretty glad, and I wanted to see his scoreboard. But generally, if it freezes like this, it means the server is going to disconnect you. And I was screaming into the mic. Because I knew death was inevitable. So, goodbye.